Hello friends, welcome to Technoasset channel. In last video, we had created the standard queue from GUI and CLI both. In this video, we are going to create FIFA queue. So let's start this session. I am already logged into my console and I'm into SQS space. You can see the demo standard queue which we had created in my last video. So let's try to create new queue, FIFA queue. So let me select FIFA. First in first out delivery messaging order is preserved means that the order of send and the processing of receive message is strictly preserved. Exactly once processing means that uh, a message is delivered once. I mean so that the duplicate message do not get introduced into the queue from producer. In simple words, producer won't be able to send duplicate message to the queue. I'll show you in the demo. So let us just give the name of this queue. And the queue name should be dot fifo. So let me fifo demo dot fifo. Okay, let me scroll down. I'm not going to change these diff parameters. I'll keep it as default. We have already discussed in SQS, and also we had discussed these parameters when we do the standard queue demo. I'm not going to enable content-based deduplication for now. However, I'll come back later in this video and, and we will try to enable it and then, then we will see what's the difference will it make. Uh, same for deduplication scope. I'll leave it Q. However, I'll come back later and we'll change it to message scope for now. But let's keep it default. Access policy define who can access your queue. I'm not going to use it once for this demo. I'll keep it basic. And I'll keep uh, rest things as it is. Um, Q owner can send the message, Q owner can receive the message. Not going to use encryption, DLQ, tags, and do try policy. So let's create the queue. Okay. So we have created V4 demo queue. Let me just duplicate this uh, queue. Sorry, tab. And let's try to send message to this queue. This is uh, test uh, message number one. Group ID is uh, first uh, first group ID. Okay, and uh, let me try to send message without deduplication ID. I am not able to send because we didn't enable content based deduplication. Hence, we need to provide the du duplication ID. So let me provide the duplication ID thousand. So let me try to send a message. I'm able to send it. Let me confirm here. Yes, the message is also available in SQS queue now, right? So let me try to send another message from same group ID and from same to duplication ID. Let me check here also. The masses hasn't arrived or is not available in SQS queue because we had used same deduplication ID which we used in last message also and so that that token for that masses is uh, is uh, I mean we can't use that same deduplication ID within that deduplication interval which is that is five minutes we can't use that same deduplication ID for five minutes of interval so we need to give another uh, deduplication ID. So I'm giving 2000. Let me try to send the message. And let me check here. Yes, the message is available in SQS queue also, right? Okay, so let me change the settings and let me enable the content based deduplication. And let me save the settings. Okay, let me refresh this page also. Let's try to send this message. This is test message number one. Group ID first. Uh, 
let's send let's try to send without the duplication id as we have already enabled the content based duplication as we know we don't need that the duplication id this is optional now right <coughs> let me check here you can see the count is three now and let me try to send uh, the other message from same group id I'm able to send it. The message is in available state now. Now let's try to send same message from different group ID. Let's say 200. The message is not available here. Let me show you the reason why it is not available here. Let me go to the queue added because the deduplication scope is we have set at queue. I mean, the deduplication will happen for all messages in the queue so that even if the producer is sending the same message from different message group, SQS won't let that happen. So, what if we select this option so that the deduplication will happen for all messages within that message group? Okay, so that means the producer from the different message group can send the same message. So let me just save here and let us save this setting. Let me go to this. First, let me just um, purge this I mean, messages which are already there so we can check and uh, we can try and we can create other messages and then we can see. Let's try to send messages. So this is test message number one from the first group hundred. And let's try to send it. See messages available. Now let's try to send the same message from different group ID. But this time we should be able to send because we had changed the deduplication scope. So now you can see that we have the message. Now the producer is able to send same message from different message group ID. Okay, guys. So I want to show you the last thing, which is even okay. Let's let's consumer uh, all this message. Let's try to delete this message from the queue first okay. okay so we are able to delete this message so let me just go here and confirm that same so the message is not available here What I want to show you guys, let me try to send the same message first group and and see. Okay. Okay, let me let me just try to delete this message because I think we had don't remember the Maybe we don't remember that uh, group ID. Let me just check again. Okay. Okay. So let me just process this message, and then we'll come back. To what I want to show you, I'll show you guys. Okay. Now let me try to send the same message again. First, confirm here. Okay, now let's try to send the same message. Message is not available here. Even if I try to send the same message from 100 group, then again it will not be there. Okay. Can see that even uh, that means that even if the producer send the message 
okay the consumer will process and delete the message from the queue even after that producer won't be able to send the same message from that same group id okay guys so that's the sky for today i hope i have covered everything i have shown you all the example for this fifo queue that's it guys for today uh, if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you